Hi folks, this is Tony for a minute to midnight.com with a short video update. I was actually about to record this video and we had four earthquakes, <laughs> the first one being 5.8, which uh, did send me scurrying under the desk, um, which I don't very often do when I have an earthquake, but that one was strong enough to do it. So pardon the pun, but I feel slightly shaken. <laughs> anyway, so now that the earthquakes are hopefully done with, I'm going to get into what I wanted to cover in this short video. Firstly, the digital euro, uh, the central bank digital currency announcement in Europe. They've launched a central bank digital currency and really this is what's going to happen globally. Basically, it's, it's not a good thing at all as far as I'm concerned. I just read a little bit of something from Zero Hedge. In future, each of us will have a personally assigned account with the central bank. Every transaction can be tracked by the central bank and its associated authorities. The authorities can and will collect information about anyone who sends money to your wallet, who you send money to, how much money you spend, when you spend it, where you spend it and on what. The authorities will know how often you go to the hairdresser, whether you have a subscription to the gym, whether you like to eat bananas, and how much money you spend on cat food. The same thing is what they want to launch globally, and if you saw in 2020, Augustin Carstens, the um, head of the Bank of International or Bank for International Settlements, saying that it's all about basically control then it should come as no surprise that that is their goal. Hold our analysis on CBDC in particular for the use of general, to the general use, uh, we tend to establish the equivalence with cash. Uh, and there is a huge difference there. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who's using a $100 bill today. We don't know who is using a 1,000 peso bill today. Uh, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also we will have the technology to enforce that. Those, are, those two issues are extremely important and that makes a huge difference with respect to what, uh, to what Cash is. Once upon a time, everyone used to use cash. When I was growing up, you know, cash was it. You used the bank to a certain degree, but most of it was done in cash. You were paid in cash. You bought things in cash. Were we criminals then? No, of course not. Are you a criminal now if you use cash? Well, it's becoming more and more that way. But I'm suggesting, folks, use cash as much as possible. Use cash. So the uh, Digital Currency Money Author Monetary Authority, the DCMA, launched an international central bank digital currency, or CBDC, earlier in April. Uh, here's an article from PM Newswire. Today, at the International Monetary Fund IMF Spring Meeting 2023, the Digital Currency Money Authority announced their official launch of an international central bank digital currency, or CBDC, that strengthens the monetary sovereignty of participating central banks and complies with the recent crypto assets policy recommendations proposed by the IMF. Universal Monetary Unit, or UMU, is, a, is legally a money commodity, can transact in any legal tender settlement currency and functions like a CBDC to enforce banking regulations and to protect the financial integrity of the international banking system. But that's not the main thing I wanted to concentrate on in this short video. I want to bring, you know, I'm sure everyone has known or bring to your attention, I'm sure you already know about Tucker Carlson having been axed, fired from Fox News. Um, and I know my listeners here have mixed feelings about Tucker Carlson. Some of you like him, some of you think he's uh, controlled opposition or whatever, but the fact that he's been removed, he was one of the few voices in mainstream media that were worth listening to at all, and I am pretty concerned that 
I'm sure he will find other outlets and his voice won't go away. But this is what they're trying to do is remove people with voices that are somewhat dissenting or bringing things to the fore that the establishment, the New World Order crowd, don't want you to know. And so this, I think, is some sort of a precedent. A precedent was set several years ago um, when all the big tech said about removing I won't even mention his name because fully because it's banned everywhere. Let's just say Alex J, um, who has an information warfare uh, type website and so forth, and they're trying to bankrupt him. And whether you like him or not, the fact is, again, that's um, take, taking down somebody that isn't towing the exact line that these people the elite, the New World Order crowd, the Great Reset crowd, the Klaus Schwabs of this world, the George Soroses and so forth don't want. And they don't like alternative media. They don't like any of us that are producing alternative media. Obviously, A Minute to Midnight is not big enough for them to be that worried about, not like the other ones that I've just mentioned. But if it starts with the big guys, you can be sure it's going to, going to trickle down to them trying to remove the smaller voices like us at some point. So this is serious, folks. Uh, I would say basically don't get your information by and large from the mainstream media. So, yeah, search out other sources of information like us and like the ones I've just mentioned um, there are others that are worth listening to. I don't necessarily agree with all of the things that they say, but it, but they're still worth, uh, you know, following at, at times. And we've had ongoing censorship at a minute to midnight for years now, and I've lost count of the number of videos that have been taken down or the number of strikes we've had on social media and the various platforms. And so censorship is a very real issue that we're dealing with all the time and having to be careful what we say because knowing that they're going to censor anything that they don't like, it makes it very difficult. They're making it more difficult for people uh, with shadow banning and so forth. And even for us, I'm noticing, you know, it's harder and harder. The numbers of viewers seem to be down. The donations are down. It's getting harder in many ways though I trust God will keep us going as long as necessary. But folks, this is really serious. So spread the videos that we publish and any information that is worth, you know, worth its salt, spread it, not just from a minute to midnight, but some of the other sources and be aware that they're really clamping down the moves towards control are uh, becoming more and more obvious in the world today and uh, central bank digital currencies is one of them. The use of artificial intelligence, which I covered in my last video, is growing and the potential dangers of that, it's growing. We've seen the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, World Health Organization and others clamoring for more censorship clamoring for prosecution of misinformation and disinformation which they say is in the public good when really what the truth is is anything that they don't agree with is not part of the narrative that these elitists are pushing they label as misinformation or disinformation whether it's truthful or not in fact you can't trust them or the mainstream really to bring you truth but they want to criminalize anyone that says things that they don't agree with or that go against the main narrative and we've seen a lot of that you know with the pushing of safe and effective things uh, supposedly in the last couple of years which have turned out to be anything but and that this is just a test case for what they're bringing in all over the world so folks you've got to be really aware this is a huge huge deal uh, and I, I don't know, we can fight it as best we can, support people like us, support the others that are doing similar things, that are trustworthy, and um, really that's all we can do. And then the rest is we just got to put our trust in God because ultimately where this is going to go, he knows. He knows better than we do, and his timing, the end times 
plays out how he wants it in his timing. Uh, So just pray for wisdom. Really, that's about all I wanted to say in this. Um, And thank you to the listeners that are there that support us and have many of you have stuck around the whole time since a minute to midnight's been on the air. So a big thank you to all of you.